I am Nivedita Mukherjee. At a time when COVID vaccination is all important, I spoke to Mr. Arish Sharma, the man behind it. Mr. Sharma heads the technology platform for vaccination called COVIN and is also the CEO of the National Health Authority. I began by asking him about the COVIN journey so far. Well, uh, honestly, uh, what has happened is that I uh, got into this uh, on about on or around 10th of January and the Prime Minister was launching it on 16th of January. So therefore, we really have had no time, so to say, in developing a platform uh, since the beginning, in some sense, you know, mm -hmm. because on 16th, we had to make do with whatever we had by that time and therefore, uh, it is like it has been like changing the tires of a truck when the truck is running right you know in some sense it's it's really uh, that so so the innovations and, and interventions and developments have taken place without any stoppage whatsoever mm -hmm. and that's a difficult thing in a software you know yeah. when you, when you uh, do something when you change something you know you bring a, a completely different you know you you, you do it offline then you test it and then you deploy it but uh, somehow we had to continue with the software uh, however uh, we did change certain things you know we changed from a demand driven supply driven to a demand driven situation where we said let the citizen be under control let us not dictate the citizen as to when and at what time and at what center the fellow will come let us now make it completely citizen centric so one approach which we changed and which actually has work quite well is that it is a citizen now who is the master you know he can register himself he can cancel his registration he can reschedule he can schedule he can cancel his appointment mm -hmm. and you know all that and and simple very simple mechanism of using his mobile and OT. so far what has been your biggest challenge in spearheading the coven one is my challenge has been the scale Mm -hmm. You know, imagine that COVID, we had actually done a backend infra, uh, you know, uh, infra sort of uh, requirement estimation. And we had, uh, you know, uh, we had uh, done uh, what is described as the 14, uh, you know, uh, hits, uh, what is called uh, concurrent hits per second. Mm -hmm. You know, how many people are able to log on? at the same level or hitting the uh, system uh, in per second. And we had actually uh, measured it and we had scaled it up to 45,000. Right. Now on 28th of April, you know, we got 55,000 hits per second, mm -hmm. which is actually quite uh, significant. Mm -hmm. So, so you know, some, some uh, channels also, you know, falsely advertise that the COVID has broken down and, you know, it is glitches and all that i mean glitch has been a constant uh, sort of word yes. uh, in the in the media unfortunately uh, while it, we have seen no glitches after mm -hmm. the initial 3 4 days of you know 16th january onwards mm -hmm. where we had to you know we had to fix some of the stuff small stuff but thereafter there have been no glitches so scaling it up you know mm -hmm. we we registered 1.37 crore uh, registrations in a matter of eight hours. Right. Shaam ke char baje se leke raat ke baare baje tak we had 1.37 crore hits. This actually translate to a multiple a million, you know, 13.7 million in eight hours. So you can say one and a half million, more than one and a half million, uh, one and a more than a half million per hour. So yes. it's a huge, huge, huge. Part. So that has been the response, this challenge. Also, the challenge. Let me also say is that. Training people on mm -hmm. the ecosystem partner has also been some challenge okay. because many times, you know, people uh, at the field level, the vaccinators who are doing it, we are finding that, you know, sometimes the information which they enter is not correct and the certificate is issued to a person mm -hmm. whose, whose yeah. name is not spelled correctly. That is one challenge which we have, you know, then mm -hmm. people are now asking for correction in the certificate. Another challenge, uh, Nivedita, has been the challenge of you know uh, what is uh, happening is that people somehow have not understood that if they use one mobile and create an account that's good enough mm -hmm. i don't know why people use people create multiple accounts 
so for example you got vaccinated with one mobile number at one account and then you used another mobile number and got vaccinated obviously we are not doing any deduplication at the back end mm-hmm. we could have done deduplication if there was only a single document which is a digitally verifiable document we could have done that aadhar for example if it was there but we are not making aadhar compulsory yeah and on, only very small percentage of people are using aadhar for some reason i don't know 99% of this countries people have got aadhar but they are not using it which is fine so on but that multiple don't... multiple use i think people were using it to get slots easily you know i know people who were staying up all night to book their slots you know and all family members were doing it together no i understand but multiple uses they are look this is also i'll answer that question basically what is happening is that people who create one account you know you don't create multiple bank accounts because that doesn't really give you a doesn't yes. produce the money right mm-hmm. similarly having multiple accounts will not produce slots yeah right so this is this is actually a fallacy and mm. people should not use it otherwise you know what happens the consequence of that is that now they are stuck with these two two provisional certificates and they are saying that i am the same person oh and we are saying we have no idea whether you are the same person or not because after all 20 crore people have registered how do you deduplicate in 20 crore people on the basis of different kind of multiple documents mm-hmm. that's not possible so therefore you know they they might have probably got the slots i don't know whether they got the slots or not but they could have got the slots in the one account also they got the slots in multiple account i i, I really don't understand that so you pointed at vaccine availability and demand <laughs> supply also you know as the real yeah. concern uh, and uh, not really a problem with technology so uh, can you just uh, you know elaborate on that that you know how yeah, let me let me i think that's a, that's a good idea i'll give you an analogy yeah the analogy is that registration is like access to the plat- platform mm-hmm. right booking yeah. is like boarding a train mm-hmm. after reservation mm. right and on the spot is like boarding a train without reservation hmm. which is a re- unreserved compartment hmm. okay hmm. now if you have too many people on the platform hmm. and there are too few trains running hmm. will you ban the platform correct will you blame the platform should you blame the platform no platform is not creating vacancies please understand Hmm. platform is basically making the process you know removing the information asymmetry making things equal for everybody though some people claim that they get it through whatever fastest finger first or whatever that's yes, a, yes that's, that's the word i'll, I'll yeah. that question also i'll answer later, later. Hmm. but what i'm saying you should not blame the platform unfortunately what is happening people are forgetting that it is not the platform who creates vacancies it's hmm. actually the the drugs and the you know vaccines which should come mm-hmm. what is happening is that as you know central government's 45 plus policy continues even today mm-hmm. the vaccination 45 plus mm-hmm. so that is going being distributed to the states right. from 1st of may the whole protocol has changed whereby the states have on their own demand by the way mm-hmm. states have now got the you know authority to purchase vaccines from the suppliers right. from the manufacturers even private sector has got that part now they are they have purchased it and now they are you know opened it for 18 to 45 now the population of 18 to 45 is 58 crores mm-hmm. and the vaccine which we are finding total total vaccines actually is about 7 crores in the ecosystem as of now mm-hmm. and and 3 and 1/2 crores obviously are going being purchased by the center and they are going to the states only purchased mm-hmm. by center doesn't mean the center is using them it's the states who are using it mm-hmm. so now you have left with a small number of vaccines some states have procured it some states are in the process of procuring it so therefore in the initial period when there is a huge number of people on the platform mm-hmm. and there are a smaller number of trains running on the platform people are finding difficult to get a reservation in the train right that's the situation as of now my sense is that as we go along as this process of procurement supply distribution etc becomes more smooth in 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 coming days i am sure the burden or the kind of demand supply 
gap will reduce that's my hope so people should become a little more patient so, sir since a uh, vaccine availability is a finite thing we knew about the demand supply situation earlier so could the on hindsight do you think that the covin could have been built in a different way to suit people more so that no, the tell me one is... thing mm-hmm. no tell me one thing covin will how can covin create you know different kind of groups it will be a part of the policy right suppose the policy is and we have enabled that for example the states don't need to go to 18 to 45 the states can choose an age so for example 45 plus is the age by the central government right mm-hmm. states can say okay in the first phase i'll do 40 mm-hmm. 40 plus mm-hmm. and we would have enabled 40 plus uh, there's no problem each state is now competent to keep their lower limit on the age right so ultimately covin is not to be built in a different way the question should be whether covin provides flexibility for the people or entities who are responsible for vaccination right so as to do their work in whatever way they feel is appropriate that's the right question because covin does not have any idea about the policy i mean covin just implements policy but covin's job is not to yeah. make policy so Correct. sir has the constant change in policy you're talking about addressing flexibility but the constant change in policy has also you know affected the efficiency of the platform also in some ways no not at all not at all okay platform has been absolutely agile mm-hmm. we have been changing it and i must say that you know policies get announced and thereafter it does take a couple of days to change the platform as i said the construction of the platform has been done in a manner mm-hmm. that it does not you know it does not create side effects okay so uh, when will the local languages uh, be introduced uh, and uh, will that help in uh, you know uh, bridging the digital divide as one is talking about no certainly i mean look there are a number of things which have been done to bridge the digital divide one is that you know arogya setu already arogya setu which is one of our partners in some sense and it mm-hmm. has got 150 million uh, 170 million downloads now i'm told now there it is in multiple languages mm-hmm. in covin platform also we are probably putting it in the languages multiple languages in a day or two because okay. what is the multiple languages is essentially the uh, the the headings you know your name okay your age Mm-hmm. because typing in 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 you know the regional languages on a computer is a bit difficult right. you will agree with me mm-hmm. even if we write type kahan ja rahe ho to then we type k a h a n you know rather than rather than going on a phonetic typing change in the keyboard that's difficult mm-hmm. so we can't really unfortunately change the the input language right we can only change the headings right so that's one part mm mm-hmm. but i think this larger question of uh, you know digital divide can be answered by saying that we are creating alternative mechanism to be to for the software and system to become more inclusive mm-hmm. one is we have recently introduced in fact we are going to launch it today the 1075 utility uh, call center where you will be able to register yourself Okay. we have also partners with partnered with common service centers whose may whose number is 250000 mm-hmm. in the country and our country has got about 600000 village 6 lakh villages 2 lakh uh, common common service centers all of them are now partnering with us and they there you can go and get yourself registered third if you don't have a mobile phone a feature phone if you don't have a smartphone and your padosi has got a smartphone you have a feature phone you can get the registration done on his phone also and the rest of the communication will come on your phone okay. so it's not necessary that the communication is limited only to that smartphone so one smartphone can make hundreds of reservations mm-hmm. and and our prime minister himself has said that we need volunteers you know who can help right. in fact i'm pained by the by the kind of you know uh, bragging of the facts by these uh, so called hackers and you know guys who can do coding fast or finger fast saying that oh i got a slot for myself mm-hmm. you know, look your your education and your capability and your skill in these difficult times must be used for helping people 
बट मेरा कहने का मतलब है वी आर मेकिंग इट इंक्लूसिव कॉमन सर्विस सेंटर डिजिटल डिवाइड नॉट सो मच बट बिकॉज ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट दैकेंसी आर वेरी लो कंपेयर टू द डिमांड एंड देन यू नो वॉट इज दॉट इज द नंबर राइट नाउ uh demand versus supply is there any number that you can give let me not put a number because you know you go to our platform there are about 5 crore people who are registered mm mm-hmm. in the 18 to 45 age group i i don't really you know i i you, you can see the i don't know whether you have seen the uh, have you seen the dashboard yes yes i have so so in the dashboard you see how many people are registered mm mm-hmm. mhm age wise registration also is right. there on on the dashboard okay mm-hmm. you can see and how many people are getting vaccinated every day in that age group those numbers are also there you just do the maths very simple thing but but i mean it has improved but it has not become you know become very comfortable even now but i hope it will become comfortable quite soon so uh, going forward uh, covid may be a long term reality at least for you know a couple of years so how prepared are we to you know uh, big changes in covid and what are the initiatives being taken for you know further this is round 1 we are going through but there may be round 2 and round 3 what are the thoughts within the government and how are you uh, you know ramping up let me let me you know even at the cost of being very very boasting and boastful let me say that covid is one of the most you know uh, most uh, robust scalable uh, open Uh, platform, which is which is not an option, which is a necessity for a country like ours, which has got a lot of other issues. For example, getting the second dose of co vaccine. If you got the first dose as co vaccine only, there are many multiple things. You know, reporting AEFI, the adverse impact, etc. It's an extremely important platform, and I think I think we have we have uh, in fact. some other countries have asked for our help also in in kind of you know helping them with this kind of uh, digital infrastructure uh, nigeria being one of the final them. Uh, you know assessment at this point on vaccinating the entire country by when do you think the country will be fully vaccinated there are numbers which have been thrown around but you as a person at the center of it all what is your assessment looking at the uh, numbers this is a question which i have not been able to answer because i am not the person in charge of it i don't look at numbers i look at the platform and to ensure that whatever numbers come on the platform platform is able to take care of them okay thank you thank you thank you sir If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.